Hey and welcome back in this video again take a look at some of the new features on V-Ray 6 for SketchUp. So let's get started. The first feature we're going to look at is the clouds. So I have here the interactive render open and I'm going to open the asset editor. So under the sun environment if I go here to settings I have here the environment in the background. So here now we have the environment sky. We have a new option right if we scroll over here it's the clouds. And you can see right away we get some nice clouds. I think if we add some high the, the top clouds it's a little bit nicer. So here we have um, a nice and here we can play with the density and also with the var variety. Here is my test render and you can see we have some nice clouds. This way we don't have to use the HDRI. You can play around with the skies color and etc. But this is a very good option for clouds and environment. The next feature we're going to talk about is the HDRI. On the HDRI we have a new option that we can take it. Take it to the, the model. The, this way it looks like it seems like the model is it's placed in place. So let's see how we do it. The first what we're going to do we're going to turn the interactive edit, render and the asset editor we're going to open as well. So I'm going to add the HDRI just the HDRI here and I'm going to load the HDRI that I got from HDRI ha Haven. I'm going to go to the light settings and under the dome light I'm just going to go here and I'm going to load my HDRI. So you can see it's a little bit dark so I'm going to increase the, the brightness to 35. So now you can see it looks like the model is not it's like swimming inside the HDRI. So the new option is here. If I click the finite dome you can see right away I get here like a dome. In this dome I can scale or from the radius or I can just physically scale this dome with the scale. So I'm just going to use the radius, I'm going to put it up to something like around 500. And every HDRI will have a different height for the projection height. For this one I'm just going to put 100. And now if we're going to take a look, it seems like the car is actually placed on the ground. The only thing we're missing is just a shadow. So for that it's pretty simple. I'm going to add an infinity plane just on the floor somewhere and I'm going to add a wrapper material on top. So to create a wrapper material, pretty simple. You need a, a generic color, just color white. And on the wrapper material, you go here and you choose the generic white material. You turn on the matting and the shadows. Now you select the plane and you go to the material and you go to your wrapper material and you go apply to selection. Now we get also some nice shadows. So now basically it seems like the car is placed in place in, in, inside the HDRI so we can have some nice test renders for testing also the HDRI and also the materials in our project. The next feature we're going to look at is the eMesh. I have here um, just a plane that has some bumps so we can see how it works really good. Very important to have a UV map placement to it. So here you can see like it's corrected the, 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 the like the squares are properly UV'd. And here I have just a chain, a part of a chain. So the way that works, I click here, this is a group and I can I click here and I, I go to here. This is the add eMesh. And I'm going to open the V-Ray frame buffer and the asset editor. So you can see now it disappeared from the render. I go here to the eMesh. It's here under the geometry. And I'm going to click my chain and I'm going to add add object. Now you can see I get this nice um, and that nice uh, material. Basically it's it saves a lot of time if we had to do it by model like modeling everything here it was would have take a lot of memory so here I can play around with the size and the thickness and all that so I can let's say I want more density so instead of 5 I can put uh, 10 
and you can see now it's more dense so the next feature we're gonna look at is the new materials so and under the chaos cosmo browser we have now a material now in v-ray they recommend that you always use those materials those materials are really high quality and they're really really nice and I've been using them a little bit and they're really good so here I have this like metal brush metal material and I'm just gonna apply it to the um, my chain and you can see right away it gives me a really nice golden brush material another new material is the thin film option this used for for soap bubbles and for oil so let's see how we can do it we want to add a reflection to our we have here a model with some bu uh, bubbles uh, kind of bubbles and we want also to add a refraction so on the refraction I'm just gonna add a refraction we have uh, I'm gonna put the refraction down for like 1.3 still have just a, a tiny bit less refraction here if we can add the switch up the advanced settings on the material you can see now we have this thin film option once we add this you can right away see if i stop the render and i re-render you can see now we get this nice cool bubble effect we can play around with the settings to have all kind of really nice results so the next option is the decal. The decal is not really so new, but now you can really you can download from the Cosmo also decal uh, assets. So let's see. Like you can see here, I download this, and I'm gonna place it here in my model. So now we can't really see too much what it does. But basically, it's kind of a sticker that if I uh, I can place it wherever I want, and I'm gonna see the effect. So I'm just gonna rotate it. To put it on on the building just like this and you can see the arrow it's pointing this way the decal to be on on the on the building i'm gonna open the interactive render and you can see the decal you can add also your own but now there is on the asset editor a bunch of decals and they have a, a category so Let's say if you want to add a uh, uh, sewer opening, etc., you can download those. The last feature I'm going to talk about in this video is the tags. So now you can organize your scene with tags. You just need to add a tag and now you can add stuff to a tags. So you can add materials, you can add all kinds of stuff and you can have everything organized inside your your um your model so let's say you have this material you want to uh put it into our tag tag one you can do it very easily and then you can collect you can have your model pretty organized very easily so this is it for this video if you like this video please like and subscribe i hope to do further uh video for all those features but I'll see how that goes. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. It helps the video. I'll see you in the next one.